Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again. In this video, we are going to add one final feature to our list suitelet by demonstrating a NetSuite feature called Page Links. Uh, before we get started, if you would like to become a competent and confident SweetScript developer, uh, get started now with my free email course on the best resources for learning SweetScript. You will find a link down at the top of the description. All right, let's get started. As I mentioned, today we are going to enhance our list suitelet by using the API for adding static uh, page level links to the page. We will use our previously established high priority cases suitelet that you see here uh, as our starting point. So before we get into how to add page links, let's just talk briefly about what page links are. On most NetSuite uh, native NetSuite pages, we have a set of links here in the top right. So here I'm looking at the native page, uh, the list of cases, and this set of links in the top right, which lets me uh, list them all. I can click one to search cases quickly. Um, if I go to an individual case, I get a similar set of links up here. This set of links is called page links, and they appear on most native NetSuite pages, but we can also add them to our custom pages, our suitelets. So that's what we want to do with our suitelet. We want to add some, some handy links in the page link section. So how do we do that? Remember that our suitelet is using the list object and handily enough, it has an add page link method. You look at this. We have three different parameters to provide. Two of them are fairly straightforward. One will be the text of the link, the title. Uh, one will be the URL where the link goes to. The third is this type option, which NetSuite has created this uh, enumeration form page link type. And there are two different types of links we can add. One is called breadcrumb, while the other is called crosslink. Now, to be honest, while I was testing this out, researching it, I do not know the difference between these two. I am not sure uh, what breadcrumb does versus crosslink, and I was unable to figure out how to get them to do something different. Uh, so we'll just go, we'll use crosslink uh, in our example. Yeah. Back to our suitelet to the function. Well, actually first, we need to make our new branch for feature development. Now we're ready to make some changes. So in the render list function, this is where we are creating the list itself, uh, basically drawing all the UI components of the page. So we just need to add a call to add page link. So to get started, let's basically mimic this, these page links we see on the native page. So let's add a link to uh, the list of all cases. And we'll add a quick link to search all cases. And what we need to do in that case is find the URL for those pages. So there we've added two links, um, but because these are native NetSuite links, we can actually get rid of the domain and we can just use a relative URL. 
And the reason, well, one reason we'd want to do that is to make our code just a little bit more resilient um, in case uh, we move data centers and our NetSuite domain changes. And that is happening a lot right now with the Oracle acquisition. As new data centers and resources become available, a lot of accounts are getting shuffled around and getting shuffled around multiple times. So it's good to have code that uh, does not require the domain there. So we want to use relative URLs. So after uploading those changes, refreshing the page, now I can see I have my two page links. Let's close everything else and make sure they work. There is the native list of cases. Here is a nice uh, case search. And we can also these are not these links are not limited to internal NetSuite links. We can link to anywhere on the internet, uh, really, that we feel like. So I've added a third link that will link out to the Mozilla Developer Network. Uh, you could just as easily see how maybe if you have an external system that's maybe integrated with your case system uh, or you want you have a link on your own maybe your own company's website that would be relevant uh, you can add any links you want up here and that's it for this lesson if you liked what you saw in this video hit that thumbs up button go share what you learned with somebody else Click subscribe to keep up with all my videos and become a competent, confident SweetScript developer yourself. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Keep sharing. I'll see you next time.